This is an epic Iranian feast that you can have in Las Vegas at the highest rated Persian restaurant in the city. And they have such awesome meats, such as this lamb chop right here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I'm here in Vegas in the western part that's kind of near the 95 freeway. So I'm very north. It's a good day to be eating some interesting food in Las Vegas. And that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be trying Persian food, Persian Iranian food for the first time in Las Vegas. Yes, they do have a few of these around. And uh, I'm at the one that's like the highest rated Persian restaurant that you can find in Las Vegas, Dream Kebab. They are known for having some authentic, delicious Iranian food. Everybody's raving about it, and I knew I had to check it out. Award-winning restaurant. So if you guys want to see what Persian Iranian food looks like, especially in Las Vegas, continue to watch on because I would love to hear your feedback, especially if you are from Iran, so I can hear what you guys think about it. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And I'm about to go in and get some of this awesome Iranian food feast. So to give you a little history about this restaurant, it's been open for about four years now in Las Vegas and it's one of few restaurants that has Persian Iranian food. And like I said, it is highly rated. People love it here at this restaurant. It is family owned, uh, authentic, uh, traditional recipes going on here. All right guys, so this is Ben right here. He's the chef owner here at Dream Kebab award winning restaurant once again. So yeah, chef, we got some food cooking right here, right? Yes, yes. Uh, this is marinated already. Marinated lamb? Yes, marinated lamb chops. Yeah. Okay. Uh, these are the chicken wings, uh, mm. drum, uh, drum sticks and uh -huh. wings. Uh -huh. Already marinated, a little Ooh. bit spicy. Uh, this is a shish, uh, shish kebab. Yes. Uh, it's the beef. This one is the same thing, lamb shish kebab. Uh -huh. but this is the lamb, this is the beef. Wow. These are the ground beef, the uh -huh. kubides. Uh -huh. yeah, this is the grilled onion, some, some people like it with their food. And uh, boneless chicken, and this is the uh, beef tenderloin, we call it beef bag. Bag, yeah. Yeah, we slice it very skinny, very skinny. Bag means leaf. Yes. It has to be skinny as a leaf. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The flames are amazingly hot. Yeah, the flames are just attacking this meat from the bottom. So you really have to watch it or else it's gonna burn. So the chef, he's monitoring it, making sure that all the chicken and beef and the veggies are all cooked properly for this extraordinary Iranian food experience. Oh yeah, look at that, that's the bread. Chef Ben is gonna put it right in there. You spraying some water on it? Yeah. Okay. There you go, we're ready to go inside. Oh. Oh, there it is, it's cooking in there. When I said that this is an epic Persian food feast, I really mean it. In front of me, I got like nine, 10 different items, all the way from the dips to the salads, to the meats and the breads. This is truly a fantastic Middle Eastern dining experience that you can have here in Las Vegas. I'm so excited. Let me see some of the things that I got here for today. So beginning with the salad and the various dips, this one is what's called the masto kier. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Masto kier, which is fresh yogurt mixed with cucumbers, mint, and a house seasoning. And you notice it comes with some fresh veggies. Okay, and this is what's called grape leaves, very traditional, well-known Persian food. And I like the way that they plate it up with the cucumber as well. That looks so interesting, and some walnuts. And this is the hummus. I think a lot of people know about hummus, especially if they eat Middle Eastern food. Uh, it's pureed garbanzo beans, sesame tahini, fresh lemon juice, garlic, and olive oil. Yes. Beautiful little Shirazi salad. It comes from a city called Shiraz in Iran. So yes, it is a, spe a specialty salad that's mixed uh, with a lot of different ingredients, just chopped cucumbers, onions, uh, tomatoes, tossed in dried mints, and dressed with lemon-based dressing. Oh man, look at this one. So this is called the Kasho Barmenjan. 
I hope I pronounced that right. It's basically their mashed sauteed eggplant blended with the kosh, as well as topped with caramelized onions, fried garlic, and mint. This is really the fanciest grape leaves I've ever had. The way they designed it. What is this? It's like some sort of, there's like rice inside, I think. And then a whole bunch of grape leaves that are wrapped around. It's a little bit sour. That's the way it's supposed to taste. But it's really one of the most awesome Persian appetizers you can have in a restaurant. Off to a good start so far. Ooh, man. That is one creamy hummus. That looks so delicious. That hummus is fire. It's so creamy, so rich, so delicious. So with the yogurt, you take the pita bread, you dip it in, and you got to get a lot of it. That's how you make it taste so, so good. That yogurt is so creamy. Very creamy. Has that strong, uh, kind of like a milk taste to it. It's good though. I've had this many times. This Shirazi salad is so cute. Look at this little earthen bowl that it comes in. Just a little salt, pepper, olive oil, some lemon juice, I think. It's very healthy too. This one looks so delicious. I heard it's a special recipe that tastes unlike any others. Whoa, that is so good. No kidding. Okay, so the eggplant is fried, it's mashed. That's what it tastes like in your mouth. So rich, but what's really good is this fried mint that's on top of it. This piece of bread right here, you see that? Woo, it's kind of like a pizza kind of thing. And I'm gonna tear me off a piece of that and use it as a dip. That bread is so fluffy. It's almost kind of like eating a, like a pizza dough in some ways. Like a Neapolitan pizza dough, but a little bit more of that, that uh, pita texture to it. It's a really good bread. Man, you can just eat it by itself and it tastes so good. I'm telling you, eat it by itself or eat it with the dips. This one or the hummus. Wow, this, this rice looks amazing. So chef, what do we got here? Okay, we got here the basmati rice uh, with the zafran already that you see the yellow part and the Burberry. That's one of the favorite uh, mix and toppings on a uh, uh, rice that we are using on a dishes. So colorful, so tasty, a little bit sour and you're gonna love it. We got here lamb chops, okay, that we call it shishlik in uh, uh, Iranian dishes. Uh, we have the uh, chicken kebabs or chicken tender that we use for this purpose. We have lamb shish inside, the chunk pieces of the lamb, and I have a beef uh, beef shish uh, is inside also. On the left side, if you come in here, yes, we have the ground beef. Uh, they call it kubide, one of the most popular uh, kebabs, beef kebabs in uh, Persian dishes. On the top, we have the chicken wings that we not fry it, we just barbecue it. Drumsticks and wings, uh, so delicious. Already marinated everything like one or two days before. So the rice is really one of the highlights of Persian cuisine. You have rice in a lot of different Middle Eastern and of course Asian countries, but let me tell you, nobody makes rice quite like uh, Iran. Persian rice is just so good because it's delicious, it's colorful, and then if you get like, for example, barberry rice, it's sweet, it's like fruity. That's why I'm going to get a generous amount of this rice and really enjoy this rice as part of the meal. Not just as a filler, but really enjoy it. it like it's a crucial part of the meal. Should I start off with the kubide, the ground beef? It's cooked perfectly all around. If you guys have never had a kubede before, you're missing out. That's the first thing you should order when you go to a Persian, Iranian restaurant is the kubede. It's the best ground beef that you can have, seriously. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I wish I can get up on this table and just dance around. That's how happy I am right now. Now rice is so amazing. Basmati rice is so delicious. And here they put the barberry fruits on top of it. So it tastes almost kind of like cranberries or raspberries or something like that on top of it. It's very fruity. The best fruity rice that you can taste. 
I didn't really think that that would have been a good combination, but it is a fabulous combination. Okay, so the next one I'm going to eat are the lamb chops. This one I'm very excited to try. They said it's a bestseller here. You must get it. Mmm, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that is like lamb chops to the best. See, I like this lamb chop because it is so, it tastes really like something that came out of your backyard barbecue and the meat is so tender. Not tough, not gamey. Really some of the best lamb that you can eat. Oh yeah, it's really good. It's so tender and it's kind of crispy on the top too. With that smoky taste. You gotta get the lamb chops here, it's so good. Oh man. And then I'm also gonna try what's called the bark. They call this the leaf. The leaf beef, I think, because it's so thin. Mm, that one is so good. Tastes, it's just like steak, like a skirt steak, basically. Skirt steak? Yeah. Like a carne asada. Um, by the way, did I mention that this platter comes with a lot of veggies, like tomatoes and mushrooms, bell pepper and all that? Really healthy stuff, actually. Why don't we go with like a chicken wing? That looks pretty good, right? Yeah, that is very tender and very juicy, very flavorful. Everything that I've had here was just fantastic. Definitely, you need to come with a big group if you're gonna eat all this food. No kidding, man. All right, ending it off with some ice cream. This is their baklava ice cream. The bottom is the baklava, the top, is a saffron ice cream, very characteristic of Persian ice cream. Yes, gonna give me a nice scoop of this ice cream. This is the first time I've had ice cream with baklava. It's so interesting. Now that I think about it. Oh, dude, I'm so glad I got this. This is so amazing. So the, bird, the uh, ice cream itself, saffron ice cream, it's so delicious already. Saffron flavor, it got some pistachio nuts crushed all over it. But then if you mix it with the sweetness, the crispiness, the honey taste of the baklava in the bottom, it is like a winning combination. This is also a thing you cannot miss out on this restaurant. I mean, the rice is really good. The barberry rice, saffron, always such a favorite of mine. And the eggplant dip is mind blowing. Truly a unique recipe. It's that's just so, so good, as well as the bread and then the meats. But you know what I did not expect is a saffron ice cream with the baklava. I didn't even think the two could work together. And this is the only restaurant I've been to by far that makes this combination, saffron ice cream with the baklava, and it is mind blowing. I would say come here just for this. Yes, get, the, get everything else as well, of course, and finish it off with this ice cream. Anyways, yeah, so if you are in Las Vegas and you're looking for a really good Middle Eastern, uh, Persian, Iranian restaurant, then they've got you covered here at Dream Kebab. Really nice ambiance, very friendly staff, delicious food. What more can you ask for? All right, guys, so before I close out this episode, I want to give a shout out once again to the owner and chef here, Ben. So yes, when you come to this restaurant, which you will, by the way, Tell him you saw this episode and he's willing to give you something really special. What is it, Chef? Well, uh, first of all, thank you to, to you, boss. Uh, uh, dear friends, we, we will offer you, if you mention the name of just YouTube, okay? Just YouTube uh, episode, and then we're gonna have you some free desserts of your choice, ice cream, baklava, or the follow day if you have one of the best that all are homemade. So just mention the YouTube video or YouTube uh, episode uh, then as for me you're gonna have your free dessert all right awesome and i'm telling you that baklava ice cream is really mind-blowing so yes you need to come and you need to take advantage of that anyways thank you so much for watching this episode guys give me a thumbs up if you like what i'm doing here also comment on the section because if you've been to this restaurant before i want to hear your story and also subscribe so they can get more of these food videos coming up well, i hope you have a rocking day today folks and i'll see you guys in the next video